Me, what does Anzac Day mean to you? Well, we actually were carrying the, the banner from a long way back, Gallipoli, but uh, uh, we are left and there's only a small number, only about 2,000 left out of the uh, many, many thousands of the Second World War. And uh, we, uh, uh, of course, we honour our dead, we, which we had many of in, in my time. And uh, so uh, we're uh, holding the tradition as, as best we can. I was involved in a, uh, a circumstance which I was not proud of later on, but however, I thought it was our ration truck had got lost and was coming from the enemy side, but I realised they were Germans, so I shot one and killed him, and then I shot the other one, and he was badly wounded, and he fell to the ground, and he started screaming for um, his mother and family, and. Uh, he was uh, in a bad way, and I held him hand until he died. finished on being out of the Anzac Day ceremonies. We used to start off about four o'clock in the morning and go through till <laughs> 10 or 11 o'clock at night. I know we used to get into trouble from the wives. <laughs> so I was playing up all day. It means a lot. He looks forward to Anzac Day every year, almost more than anything else. He likes to do his march. He likes to lay his wreath on behalf of his brothers. What I do have of Vietnam is the mateship. There was 33 in my platoon went to Vietnam. There were three killed, so if you look at that, that's nearly 10%. There were, there were guys obviously wounded, some guys didn't serve the full tour there. But it's the mateship is the experience that comes out of that. We've never lost that bond or that friendship. It's unique. It is absolutely unique. Um, and we all try to do the right thing by each other. So if somebody goes downhill, we always try to be there. them. It's a shame that we ever came, I think, because they're good people and it's a, it was a pity that we ever fought the Turks. Poor old, and I still remember his cry, Harvey married, a very strong, strict Catholic. Oh my God. This is a poem I wrote in 1959. Cairo, Cairo, I once went there, a young Aussie soldier. For those who remember, you helped pay the fare. The trip wasn't wasted, after all, we did win. Or did we, I ponder? It now seems a sin to kill fellow humans, young boys just as we, there with the same purpose and maybe kill me. One face I remember, I dreamed. He carried their photo, his wife and two girls. God, they'd both be mothers, have boys of their own, and I killed their father. How could I have known my thinking would alter? I'd mellow with age, 
How futile the practice. We were both boys who should have been friends and shared woe and joys. Cairo, no thank you. The memory still stays. I dream of the desert in those far off days. I grieve for a German I killed as a boy. The memories are bitter. Forgive me, my friend. <laughs>